Hello everybody, this is T with Cage Crafty Clouds and today I have this clean and simple black and white thinking of you card. Like super easy, super fun to make and quick, really quick. So if you have to make a card in a, in a jiffy, you can most certainly do that. So this, we're going to make a top folding card. So this is an A2 size card, it means it's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. And we're going to go ahead and score that card stock using our bone folder and our, make sure you don't drop your and glue right here. Um, I'm going to score this in half. So this is going to be scored at five and a half. Just be careful, depending on the thickness of your cardstock, because you can, your bone folder can cut through your cardstock. You want to flip it over, butt it against that end, and go ahead and burnish it. Okay, so, so that's the easy part, right? And the rest of it's pretty easy too, so. I went ahead and die cut using that mod rectangle die um, and some more white cardstock. Um, I'll do the best of my ability to link as much as I can in the description box below so you can check it out. Um, so I did that. I went ahead and this is a floral rose stamp set that I've had for quite some time. I think I, I forgot who I even bought it from because it was not in the package no more. So I already have it placed on there from the earlier card. You can use any color you want. Like it doesn't have to be black and white, but I wanted to go black and white. I'm using a stamp positioning tool. So, cause probably I'm not gonna get the greatest impression the first time and that's okay. So see, I missed that edge of that leaf over there. And so good and perfect and then i'm just going to flip it over so the other rounded edge is showing up i mean i'm going to show you something on the other card that i discovered by an error mistake and you probably won't even notice it till i point it out to you all right so we did a good freshen on that the first time okay so yeah you can just go ahead and use any color that you want like i said it doesn't have to be black and white it can be red on red and all that stuff. So if you notice on this card, see how that edge is a little distressed? Um, depending on the thickness of the cardstock, that stitch line, you can rip off of there and get that perforated, jagged little edge going on. I just did it on that one side because a, only a piece of it happened to ripped off how it did that in the process. I don't know. Like it, it's kind of cool. It gives it more of a little bit organic look to it all so that's all well and good and see how we got that I'm just waiting for it to dry for a moment because what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use some of that liquid pixie dust from ink on three and we're just going to color in the leaves and a couple of the outside um, rose petals here and we're just going to leave the center of it alone make sure you shake it up so all that mica it's dispersed and suspended in the liquid and I just going to put some over here on my Tim Holtz mat here. I am going to put a little bit of water, like not a super, not a lot, just a little bit so it'll be easier to move and grab it. So I said, just make sure that this ink is dry before you do that. And like I said, I'm just not really, and I'm not really super worried about standing the lines. So this kind of adds just a little bit of shimmer. Well, actually a lot of shimmer and tones the black and white down just a little bit. And like I said, we're going to do these petals right here and leave and we'll do this outside area as well. And just remember, be careful you don't wet your cardstock too, too much. Because depending on the cardstock that you have, it may not hold that liquid too well and want to buckle on you. 
So this is, like I said, a 120 pound cardstock. So it's a little thick. All right, and then we're almost done. I'm gonna do these outer levels. And you can see when this dries back, it's gonna have a tint to it. Like that goldy, gold tint. Cause I kind of the mica in there is gold tinted, okay? So we got that. And then we're gonna come in with our sentiment, which is on a stamping block. Okay, and it says stinking of you, you can change. You can most certainly change that sentiment up. I'm just gonna do my best. See how I made a little smudge mark? I'm just gonna put that on there. Perfect. And yeah, we get little smudge marks on there. If you can cover it up with a sequence or a jewel or a gem, that, that's what I do too. So I got some gems here and I'm really just going to put a couple, three of them on there. Like I'm trying to get some smaller ones and mixture in here and what i actually do when i use my little handy dandy pickup tool um i use my brush and because this unfortunately my art glitter glue because that's what i'm using today art glitter glue it comes out too fast and I'm, so i'm just have a little bit of a little dot dab of it over here and i'm just gonna lightly Put it on the back of that gem while it's being held um, by that tool. That way I don't get a whole lot of oozing going out of it when I stick it down on the paper. Again, I'm going to grab this bigger one. Try to get a good, good hold onto your gem, jewel, or even sequence. Like this stuff, my this little tool is starting to run out with the uh, the sticky stuff. So I'm get one more. Don't you ever, don't you hate it when they don't fall on the side that you want them to fall on? Okay. And you don't have to do this. I just found a new way to do it and you can take off this end of this let me see if I can do that because it makes life a little bit easier it just unscrews and you can hold down your gem and move it with that so not all tools have that some of them are just double sided sticky but this one does have that thing so that is actually our card I, I will put some foam squares on the back of that and attach it to the front of our card and that is going to complete the card for today let's bring back in the original one so you can see the finished product and you can see all the shininess going on in there and like i said you can see a little bit of a gold tint to that because of the mica that's in that liquid picky dust so i want to thank you all for joining me today make sure you check out the store at kateskraftycloset.com for all your shopping needs if you ever need anything please feel free to reach out to me at any time on facebook instagram email or anything like that and i want to I appreciate each and every one of y'all and y'all have a crafty day out